so I'm trying to get some things cleaned up up here. Um, grandson and son-in-law are coming over to watch football with Pop Pop. And um, I'll hang out with them, even though I'll probably be listening to YouTube or crushing or something. Or playing with grandson, let's be honest. Um, but I did get a sewing project done I've been wanting to do for a bit um, this morning. Um, I gotta clean up now, but so I have this uh, Bohemian carpet bag pa pattern from So Liberated, which I've made before. And my large bag is down here with a project in it I need to work up. And I wanted a smaller one. So especially that's really big. If we're going on a car, a road trip, I can take whatever size bag I want, but if we're flying, I really wanted something smaller, take a small project in, throw my laptop in, um, laptop, haha, <laughs> iPad. I haven't had a laptop in a long time. Anyway, so I adjusted the pattern. I got a smaller metal frame because it has a metal um, carpet bag frame in it. And look what I made. Isn't that cute? So cute. Um, so anyway, the pattern is super easy. If it's still available, I'll try to link it below. Um, and you can get the metal frames on um, Amazon. They're pretty easy to get. Anyway, I also have to catch up on some daily drawing, but I won't necessarily do that right now. I'm gonna put you down, hang on. Ha, okay, I won't necessarily do that right now because I really need to clean up because grandson likes climbing the stairs and coming in the art room. And so we don't need to pick, have him pick up thread, fabric, pins, needles, you know, the things. So um, yeah. I'll catch up at some point. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it's almost 11 o'clock at night. Time for bed. Uh, but besides getting the bag made that I made today, I finished this piece. So hang on a second. Because I'm going to have to prop you up somewhere. This is a big, it's big. Hold on. Okay, let's see if that'll work. Maybe? Uh, maybe if I get the footstool. Hold on. Reach it, it's way into the table. Okay, this started out as one of these, and I was gonna just keep going and make a blanket. I ended up deciding I liked the pattern that came when I did that, so I did more squares. I was gonna just do a shawl scarf thing. It ended up being way bigger than that, and I could wear it out. I could just have it as a snuggly here in the house. It's a weird shape. It's a big giant rectangle, but I love it. Hold on. Let's see. There you go. <laughs> I mean, ah, oh, yeah, yeah. I lost my hand. The husband needs to take me to the snow or something. Or I just need it to be cold so I can sit on, on a chair or the couch or, I mean, the yarn is acrylic, but it's super soft. Yeah, anyway, I love it. I have to weave all the threads and still, but that's okay. Anyway, two projects done today. A little bit of babysitting or helping with babysitting. Polly is, was here with this grandson. So yeah, I'm babysitting tomorrow for a few hours and Tuesday all day, Thursday all day and Wednesday night, which I just found out about today. <laughs> so I'm going to have to figure out how to get, you know, normal household chores, grocery shopping and some creativity in around that. <laughs> Also, one more birthday celebration because Bob's birthday is on Sunday, the 29th. So, I might need to call in the adopted son-in-law for help planning again. <laughs> it might be a thing. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed because I've got to get up early tomorrow so I can get some stuff done before Junior is here. And, uh, yeah. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is just after 8 a.m. on Monday, September 23rd, my daughter's 30th birthday. Happy birthday, Rebecca. Everybody wish her happy birthday. Anyway, um, it is a babysitting day. 
Um, her dear friend slash adopted sister's taking her out uh, for the day. Um, so I'm babysitting, which I would be going forward on Mondays anyway because of Becca's work stuff. So um, anyway, um, I already got the video, sorry, the vlog edited for Wednesday. It's rendering right now and I try to get it loaded and scheduled to YouTube before they get here. I've finished my coffee. I'm going to start a load of laundry. Uh, and then sit and probably do some crocheting before Junior gets here. And work what I can in when I can, as always. All right. I think that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Tuesday, September 24th. It is the end of the day, six o'clock, which means Bob's in a call from Asia. I think it's usually on at six o'clock. What is it on my face? I don't even know. Anyway, um, it was a babysitting day, so we did that today, most of the day. I did and have been getting up early though on babysitting days so I can get some stuff done before he comes, whether it's chores or art or, I don't know what that is. Anyway, um, planning, YouTube video editing, whatever, whatever it is. So um, Junior um, did come this morning, but I was able to get a bunch of stuff done before he got here. And I am continuing to work on a, the current crochet project, which I can do when he's napping and stuff like that. So, but I did get caught up on all the daily drawings. Did I get caught up on posting them on social media? Well, no. Do I need to? Yes. Hopefully I can get that done tonight. Um, what else? I got, oh yeah, I scratched myself. Oh, she's great. Um, pulled a couple of um, things out of the garment fabric closet to work on of that one and this one. Uh, these are both not thrifted. These are both things I have from different trips to Hawaii that I want to make into something I can wear every day. I do have a couple of patterns in mind. Which one is gonna work? I don't know exactly. I'll let you guys know when I figure it out because I have no idea. A couple of them are from Tina Givens. I will um, connect her website down below. So Tina Givens, um, she has patterns. She also has another site where she sells her clothing. But anyway, um, sort of boho hippie style. Not, not that you're going to be surprised. Anyway, caught up on daily drawings and also set up the book for... Um, October, which is only like a few days away. Um, I did already get all my social media posts um, for the first or around the first. They're all done and scheduled. They're ready to go. Um, so yeah, and I'm using the new uh, bag. I, I love it, you guys. I absolutely love it. And so yeah, it's a great bag. Um, I love it so much. It's making me want to purge some of those. I will do that carefully and think about it because if I don't want to purge things that I'm going to regret later. So anyway, um, I think that's it. It's just about dinner time. I am a little hungry, so I know I'm bleeding. So, you know, it's a thing. Uh, all right. Tomorrow I have the day off, but I am babysitting in the evening while the kids go out for a date night concert. And Bob is going to come over either with me or after he gets off of work and help me. And um, basically, it's just really busy until he goes to sleep. And then, you know, you're just there until mom and dad get home. Um, and then Thursday, babysitting. Friday, I'm off. Uh, yeah. So, okay. <sighs> I think that's it. I don't know. Today, this week is just so busy and so crazy. And I just have to remember to breathe and to sit and crochet or paint. I need to work on this 
um, or, or draw or just be in the quiet when I can because the rest of it's just nuts. And I love my grandson and I don't want to do wrong by him. And he is absolutely wonderful and, but he's a toddler, so he takes all of your attention when he's here. Anyway, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Yes, we're in the bathroom. I am currently making this sweater out of some Noro yarn. This is the Noro Haruto. Again, I'm probably butchering the name, I apologize. Um, this is color number two, and um, I don't have a pattern. I'm just winging it. It is gonna be long sleeve. I'm gonna make this longer down to about here. I'm not gonna put any ribbing. I'm just gonna do, the neckline has one round of half double crochet. I will probably add another round um, when I'm done, but I wanna make sure I have enough yarn for the sleeves and everything. Um, and then the cuffs and the bottom will also get at least two rounds of half double crochet, but how cute is that? I love it. Love the colors too. And it's so soft. All right. I'll be back. Say good morning, but if I'm not mistaken, it's just after lunch, so I need to stop what I'm doing and eat lunch. But as I posted in yesterday's clip, I had a couple of um, fabric pieces that I bought years ago in Hawaii, and I was going to repurpose them and make something else out of them. I got one of them done today. It's so cute. So the top I've made before, I'll put a picture here. Um, or two or three. <laughs> um, I decided to do one short sleeves. It does look a little like scrubs, but not. I but I love it. It's loose. It's comfortable. Um, yeah. Hold on. I'll get I'll get a video clip. Hang on. All right. So this is the top I finished today, and um, it has pockets on the front. I've done one before with pockets. It actually has a little pocket on the back. Um, because I made a boo-boo, but that's okay. The boo-boo's covered up and yeah, I really like it. I was worried about the neckline that it was going to end up being too low, but you know what? It's fine. It's cute. I really like it. So anyway, it's time to stop, clean up and eat lunch now. What am I going to do with the other piece of fabric? I have no idea. Um, I was only inspired to work with this one. Um, but I do want to do something with this one. I just don't have any ideas yet. Um, the robe is actually made, it's a robe or swimsuit cover up. It's actually made inside out. Uh, but the right side of the fabric is very bright. Will I make another one of these? Maybe, if there's enough. We'll see, I, I'm not sure. I need to take a break right now and I need to um, eat some lunch. These are all by um, from Hilo Hattie, by the way. Again, I bought these years ago when we went to Hawaii. <sighs> We've been a number of times. I don't think I bought these on my honeymoon. I think I bought these the second time we went. That was a really long time ago. When our daughter was little. She's 30 now with a, with a son of her own. So yeah. All right. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to make some lunch. Mr. will be home from the office soon, and I usually have today off, but I'm doing some late night babysitting while the kids go on a concert date. So yeah, all right, I'll be back. Okay, after lunch, I did figure out what I wanted to do with this other one. I did leave the fabric inside out, and I've just, I made another top. That's what I wanted to make with it, so I did. You wanna see? Okay, hold on. How cute is this? Same pattern I've been using. I didn't, the sleeves are just the same as they were. I All I did here was just close this up. I stitched it closed. There was a pocket on the side. I just put it right here, because why not? I love it. All right, I'm gonna go get something to drink. I'm all hot and sweaty now. Turn off some lights. Some of these lights are really warm, make the room really warm, so. All right, I'll be back.
guys, it is Thursday. It is the end of the day. It's almost seven o'clock at night. Bob is off to his Masonic Lodge thing. Um, and I am up here in the art room because we have our robot vacuum, AKA Hazel, if you've been here for a while, um, downstairs cleaning the floors. Um, it was babysitting day, Junior. Here it was here all day, fourth day in a row this week. Um, so it's kind of a lot. Um, I'm, <laughs> I've had way too much coffee this morning. I actually have another cup I poured just a little while ago. But, you know, that's all right. I'm going to do the daily drawing today. And I was pulling out more fabric for some sewing projects. This will probably be some version of this, which is from Light. Light? There we are. Maybe? Uh, there we go. Um... This is from So Tina Givens' website. This is the Emma dress. Uh, yeah, Emma. And um, I haven't used this pattern yet, so it'll probably be a version of that with the rose print on the outside. Um, I have all these pieces of felted wool fabric. I'm thinking about patchworking them together and making, we all know I love my bags, right? another one of these. I don't really need it, but I mean, it's a cute idea. So that's a thing. But right now I'm going to sit down and do today's daily drawings, which, cause I had the baby, well, toddler, <laughs> I haven't done yet. So I'm going to sit and do those and then finish my coffee. And I doubt I'll do any sewing tonight just cause it's getting late. But, um, yeah. This, I think this is a good idea. I actually have more fabric than this. These are just the ones that I kind of pulled out. So I think, and I sorted them by size, um, kind of, and or shape. So I think what's going to happen at some point, the first thing I'll do is cut them all into one, two, or three of the same sizes and then sew them together. My other option, of course, is just, just straighten out edges and use them as they are and sew them together. Which, I have to be honest, I'm tempted to do. We'll see. Anyway, it's a future Gina problem, <laughs> but it is a good idea. Um, I wish I had a strong enough sewing machine to make the bottom of the bag. On this one, it's solid green. <clears throat> and the handle in leather because how cool would that wool fabric be with leather my sewing machine won't do that that's yeah but maybe i can get some nice dark brown canvas or some nice dark brown upholstery fabric that's not too thick and again we have to think about it i probably have something that i can just make work all right Let's do the drawings, maybe turn some light on for myself because it's a little dark over here in the corner. I'll be back. It is just about 11 o'clock. I'm waiting outside the ice cream place to pick up Bob's birthday cake. My dentist appointment was rescheduled for today because my hygienist is sick, so that's fine. I also had a voucher from Michael, so I went and used that. Spent 99 cents on some cross-stitch fabric. Um, I do cross-stitch occasionally, so anyway. We're gonna go get the cake and then go home, so yeah. I asked the husband if he could please reschedule my appointment if he could when he was there this morning, so. All right, let's go pick up that cake and I'll be back. Bathroom vlogging, is that a thing? Don't answer that. <laughs> Don't answer that. 
I finished my Noro yarn sweater just now. I have to weave in the end. See, I haven't done that yet. It turned out so cute, you guys. I really like it. Now I just need to get cold out. Hold on. Okay, let's do that that way. We won't talk about what you're precariously propped up on, because, yeah. Anyway, what do you think? I wanted to do this little thing here and then matching sort of v-neck in the neckline with just a long sleeve. It doesn't have ribbing. Um, there's two rows of half double crochet around the cuffs and the neckline and the bottom. I didn't have a pattern. I just made it up as I went along and I really like it. I love all the colors. It's so pretty and so soft. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, so I haven't vlogged at all today because we've been celebrating Mr.'s birthday. Uh, yeah. Which is tomorrow. It's tomorrow, for next week. Yeah, so we've had um, a house full of children today, most of the day. So it was a lot of fun. We had a late lunch, early dinner with them, and then most of them took Mr. out to an archery place and they did some shooting with bows and arrows. <laughs> Oh yeah, show up, show your thing. You did pretty good. See? Look at all those holes, like Swiss cheese. <laughs> you did pretty good there. And so they had a lot of fun with that. I stayed here with one of the kids and grandson. And um, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Um, I did finally weave the ends in on this um, while they were out at archery so that's done and then after everybody left and we got the kitchen cleaned mister did help thank you so much um i've been trying to start a new granny pop v-neck sweater which i have made before by mj's off the hook designs i do like the pattern i have made it before for some reason tonight i'm on my third round of trying to start it i just my count is off i don't know what the deal is uh, let's hope it works this time or I can fudge it. I don't know. Anyway, tomorrow's his actual birthday and he is going to be um, joining up with some of the kids to go do some other stuff at a different range. And so they're going to go do, we're, yeah, going to another range. So they're going to go do that. I will probably head over to Joanne's to look for some parts for our project. And then we will be sitting back here with some of the kids and we will be having a movie day and lunch and I'll be crochet, Jenny and I will be crocheting, adopted daughter and I. She left in fact a project bag right there. Um, so yeah, it's been a lot of fun this week. I've gotten a lot of creativity in where I can. I think I did pretty good this week with it. And um, yeah, it's getting more and more challenging as Junior gets older because he's mobile, he's curious, and he's into everything. He's also grumpy a lot and really picky about his food. Or he's becoming picky. His mom did the same thing about the same age, so not surprised. Anyway, it's been good, though. I hope that even if you are like me, you have a busy schedule, you have other challenges, that you're still able to figure out and put some, get some creativity in there somewhere. Uh, no matter what it is, maybe you used to do a lot more drawing and painting, but these days, like me, you just can't um, pick up some crocheting, do some cross stitch, do something. You can do, if I can do it, you can. Anyway, don't forget to check out the video description blah, video description for relevant links and the way, ways to support the free content here on YouTube. Um, also, um, please like, share, and subscribe. Above all, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.